Mozambique, in Southeast Africa, is one of the poorest countries in the world. Approximately 70% of the people live below the poverty line of 40 US cents a day. With only about a quarter of the population living in towns, Mozambique has one of the lowest urbanization rates in the world. 17 years of civil war, which ended in 1992, and conflicts with South Africa have cost at least one million lives and laid waste vast tracts of land and much of the infrastructure. Mozambicans are a good-natured people with willing smiles and a love of life. However, it is often difficult for them to imagine a better life when the daily struggles they face are so challenging. Slowly, the people of Mozambique are starting to believe in themselves and their own ability to create a better future. The Munich Re Foundation addresses major global challenges environmental and climate change, water as a resource and risk factor, population growth and disaster prevention, and is committed to helping people exposed to risk situations. True to its motto, From Knowledge to Action, the Foundation aims to prepare people to deal with risks and to improve their living conditions. The Foundation's task is to minimise the risks to which they are exposed. It clarifies issues and provides support, also in developing countries. Two of the Foundation's international projects revolve around the element of water, a valuable resource on the one hand and a risk factor on the other. And one of these projects is being carried out with the GTZ, the German Association for Technical Cooperation. It involves a comprehensive flood warning system which is being set up for people at risk in Mozambique. It is not a matter of developing large-scale technological solutions, but rather of promoting systems that are particularly well tailored to the specific needs of the people. An example of this is the flood warning system on the River Buzi in central Mozambique. The GTZ Rural Development Programme uh, has been active in the province of Sofala since 12 years now. Obviously, in 1994, when we started, focus was much more on um, reconstruction and rehabilitation activities, which then over the years changed uh, towards uh, supporting the provincial government of Sofala uh, in advice regarding issues like decentralization, district planning, uh, the introduction of uh, low cost and appropriate technologies, and also the issue of disaster risk management and climate change. Mozambique also suffers more than its share of natural catastrophes. Apart from having to contend with cyclones, which affect the southeastern part of the African continent every year, the country has also been hit by severe droughts in recent years. In the 1990s and in 2000 and 2001, many hundreds of people lost their lives in large-scale floods that affected areas including the Boozy catchment. Many more inhabitants lost their livelihoods. Climate change will aggravate the country's risk situation even further with droughts of greater intensity and duration. And floods, which constitute a major problem along the country's rivers even today, will become more frequent and more extreme. Consequently, it will become increasingly difficult for the people to escape the vicious circle of poverty. Eu sofri bastante pela, pela cheia porque era antes de sermos formados, era antes de, de haver comitê de gestão de risco de calamidade. Eu sofri bastante. As minhas culturas foram, de, foram embora, os meus cabritos também, os meus porcos, a minha casa, todos os meus bens foram-se embora porque eu não estava arreglado. In response to the floods of Mozambique in the year 2000, 
the German Ministry of Cooperation contracted the German Technical Corporation, referred to as GTZ, to implement a rehabilitation program. In 2001, this program was extended by the disaster mitigation component. PRODAIR, the GTZ program for rural development, introduced a pilot program to reduce the risk of disaster in affected villages along the Boozy River Basin. A total of eight flood-prone villages and one cyclone-prone village in the Boozy River Basin that were affected by the floods of 2000 were identified. A detailed disaster risk analysis was undertaken with the participation of the local population. Primary data was gathered through a participatory approach, applying techniques of semi-structured interviews, transit walks, agricultural cycle and community mapping. Disaster preparedness is a part of risk management. In response to the floods of 2000, support was provided to the Red Cross of Mozambique. Activities included exercises in boat rescue in flood-related disasters. This type of training helps the volunteers to be better prepared and able to respond to the needs of their communities in the case of a flood. It is key to the implementation of the Risk Disaster Management Strategy that local government plays a leading role. Since last year, we have been working in collaboration with the German Technical Cooperation, implementing a risk management program in the Boozy River Basin. In this program, we are introducing mechanisms to control the water flow in times of flooding. We have installed water markers that allow the communities to monitor the water levels. We are also able to use our local radio station, Radio Comunitaria de Buzi, to disseminate information to the population via the volunteers and community leaders. As a result of the experience we gained from the floods of 2000, in 2001 we used the incoming information to help the population know where to go and what to do. Also, as part of the program, we are helping to form local committees in the communities. Eine der wichtigsten Ansätze im Katastrophenrisikomanagement ist die Dezentralisierung der Verantwortlichkeit. In der Projektarbeit wurde deshalb die Distriktregierung, lokale Komitees einbezogen, um der Bevölkerung bei der Minderung ihres Katastrophenrisikos zu helfen. Their formation is an integral part of the GTZ approach to risk disaster management. Local committees were formed in nine different communities in the Boozy district, selected in agreement with the traditional authorities representing the rural population. Each member of the local committee receives a credential signed by the provincial delegate of the National Institute of Disaster Management, recognizing their role in the community in the work of risk management. They have been trained in activities including the identification of secure areas, evacuation of the vulnerable community members and dealing with the early warning messages transmitted by the local radio station. The district of Boozy has its own local radio station. This station is used for the transmission of early warning messages, which is a vital component of risk disaster management. It also runs an educational program to inform the population of the dangers associated with disasters and what action they can take both in prevention and preparedness. All transmissions are both in Portuguese and the local language. As part of risk management, the project supports the introduction of a local early warning system for cyclones with a simplified action scheme. This includes the use of coloured banners to identify the three levels of warning, providing information on the proximity of the cyclone. Depending on the colour of the banner, specific actions are recommended. There is also a numeric system identifying the intensity of the cyclone. In addition to this, to facilitate the activities of the local committee members, a kit has been distributed to all nine communities. Each kit includes items such as a megaphone, torches, life jackets, stretcher, radio, lanterns, shovels and a first aid kit. The kit also includes the coloured banners to be used for the early warning system. The local committees have received training in the use of the various pieces of equipment in these kits.
One of the main partners in this program is the Mozambican National Institute of Meteorology. As part of the risk reduction strategy, a manual was elaborated by the Institute to provide information on the interpretation of weather forecast messages and the early warning system. A seminar was organised to facilitate the dissemination of the material contained in the manual. The objective of this seminar is to reduce the vulnerability of the people due to extreme atmospheric phenomena, such as floods, droughts and cyclones. As you know, in other countries, scientists produce seasonal forecasts and predict expected rainfall for the next six months. This information can be very important in the planning of various activities, agriculture, health, transport and communications and other areas. Other activities, in collaboration with the Institute of Meteorology, have been the rehabilitation of four existing weather stations in the Boozy River Basin to support the early warning system and gather relevant climatic data. The rehabilitation of these specific stations is key to re-establishing the continuation of the historic data collection, which together with current data can be used for better climatic forecasts. É fundamental que para este processo funcionar e ter bons resultados, quando haja um trabalho coordenado perto das comunidades, as comunidades devem se envolver. Todos os líderes e o governo do distrito e vários atores têm que participar nestas ações. Para, para poder tomar as medidas adequadas no tempo certo e evitar que haja problemas eh, numa ação de que há condições para poder se evitar. I think what I've seen today is something which is rather simple, but which is very, very effective in that the community was able to uh, coordinate the exercise with relative ease. And I think this makes for um, a situation where you could easily take this simulation and uh, use it elsewhere in other parts of the world very successfully. Uh, I have to say I congratulate the community and all of those that were involved in the organization and I'm very proud to be part of that. Hemos venido a Mozambique a transmitir las experiencias exitosas que se han dado en América Central con la implementación de avisos previos eh, contra eh, Cheyas y eh, queremos que las poblaciones de acá eh, adopten sistemas simples que puedan ser manejados por ellos para minimizar los impactos de las cheyas acá en, en el distrito de Busi. For the prevention of cyclone damage to building construction, the German Technical Corporation have promoted the adoption of simple techniques that can improve the resistance to cyclones and the relevant damage. These techniques include the anchoring of the roof structure to the base and the reinforcing of joints using local materials such as rope or wire. These construction techniques have been adopted by the Provincial Education Department and these principles were tested successfully by heavy winds experienced in 2002. Die Nachhaltigkeit des Katastrophenrisikomanagements möchte ich an drei Beispielen aus der Projektarbeit äh, darstellen. Erstens die gute Einbindung der Bevölkerung und der Komitees in die Regenmessung und Wasserstandsmessung. Zweitens das gute Zusammenspiel zwischen der Distriktregierung und den lokalen Analysekomitees, um eben den aktuellen Hochwasserstand zu haben. Und drittens die Einbindung dieser Maßnahmen in eine langfristige die Distriktentwicklungsplanung sind Maßnahmen der Nachhaltigkeit des Katastrophenrisikomanagements. Wir tendo in conta o processo de descentralização em vias de implementação no país. Estamos a elaborar o plano de desenvolvimento distrital. The people in Mozambique are poorly equipped to cope with storms, heavy showers of rain and floods. The country's largest cities, Maputo and Beira, afford protection in stable brick wall buildings. In rural areas, the people are defenseless against strong winds and masses of water, since their dwellings are often made with very simple materials like wood, 
branches, grasses and loam. Scattered villages on rivers and coasts and in the plains usually have no sturdy structures to protect the people, who are therefore powerless and completely exposed to the elements. What are the success factors of this early warning system which has perceptibly changed the people's risk awareness along the River Boozy? Ownership remains within the country, meaning that the system is promoted and supported by the district government. This entails a high degree of responsibility in that the warnings from the local metering stations are all channelled into the government's offices. Also, the majority of the communities have fully adopted the system. É, se houver ou cheia ou se coronas, então nós já sabemos fazer essa manobra de que se há cheia, como podemos alertar pessoas, tirar das zonas baixas e ir nas zonas seguras. People living along the river are given training at special community gatherings. Youngsters are given special responsibility and enjoy a high standing in village society as a result. Even children are taught about the early warning system and its mechanisms, thus establishing an important foundation for the project's future sustainability. Last but not least, international experts, from the Honduran trainers and the GTZ specialists, to the sponsors, the Munich Re Foundation, have committed themselves to giving the system their emphatic support on a long-term basis. For us it is extremely important to have the relevant partners in the boat and here in Mozambique we find a situation. The people on community level are very much committed. On the other hand side we have a strong partner with GTZ Broder who have knowledge in the country for many years. And last but not least, an important fact, the government is, has the ownership and this is a guarantee for success if you have the relevant partners in the project. The plan is to extend the early warning system to further catchments in Mozambique. The district government in Kaya has already given its go-ahead for a similar early warning system on the Zambezi. Work is due to start in 2006 and the hope is that the people of Mozambique and their possessions will be enjoying the benefits of an effective flood protection system that is geared to their own specific needs in no more than a few years.